and welcome to a story about a very special bridge. First constructed and built in 1892, and restored back to pristine condition in 2005, the Andrew and Swing Bridge is a certainly an important landmark. Six score and one year ago, a group of men, Frank P. Witherill, Amos O. Reed, George A. Stover, and Charles E. Hacker, wanted a way to make the new Tossum Heights housing more attractive to low-income mill workers who found the mill tenements in the Brunswick area overcrowded with serious health concerns. So in 1891, the promise of a new bridge was released. In 1892, with the cold winds of March blowing across the still frigid waters of the Androscoggin River and echoing through the pine trees that lined the stony bank, the Topsom Land Company received an estimate from the cotton mill. Later that year, German engineering firm J.A. Roebling's and Sons was hired to design the new bridge. The firm was chosen because of their reliable German engineering, as seen today on famous bridges such as the Brooklyn Bridge in New York City, and of course, the Roebling Suspension Bridge in Cincinnati, Ohio. They used reliable materials and designs. The Topsom Land Company didn't want another bridge mishap like the Skowhegan Bridge, which collapsed in 1888 due to faulty cables. With the warm and mild main summer still on the horizon, the construction started in May of 1892. Four laborious months later, the industrious little fellows finished the bridge. The original cost back in 1892 was a hefty sum of $2,000. The 1892 investment of $2,000 translates to $47,902.50 in today's economy. In 1910, the original wooden support towers were replaced by steel ones. The construction was done by carpenters Brad Cobb and T.W. Gibbon with the aid of locals. However, the story soon takes a very tragic turn. In March of 1936, as Germany reoccupies the Rhineland in violation of the Versailles Treaty, the combination of unusually heavy snowfall and two large March rainstorms caused the Interscottic River to swell its banks. Some places along the river, such as Auburn, saw a river rise of 27 feet. The raging currents and ice dams ripped the wooden decking of the bridge and destroyed most of it. Two years later, in 1938, with the war in Europe imminent, the Works Project Administration, a government agency, repaired the bridge. This provided relief to the workers who had to use the Frank J. Woods Bridge with its dangerous automobile traffic. Over the next 60 years, the bridge suffered from weathering, neglect, and abuse. By the late 1980s, with some of the best music broadcasting across the airwaves, the Androscoggin Swing Bridge was in great disrepair. There was a great need for a community connection between the towns. Pedestrians and cyclists wanted some way to span the river safely. So, in 1999, the towns of Brunswick and Topsom decided to study the feasibility of restoring the bridge. By April of 2002, a committee was formed to explore restoration and funding. Government funding, totaling $304,000, was received for restoration work in 2003. The committee continued to raise money for the restoration process. Fort Andros donated a large sum to the bridge committee. This sum came just in time as the bridge committee was in danger of losing the federal funding. With enough funding sec now secured, restoration began by Larry Paul of Wiscasset, Maine. A year later, in 2006, the bridge was reopened to the public. During the summer of 2007, park-like entrances were constructed on both sides of the bridge. The grand opening ceremony was held September 8, 2008. Well, that's all folks. Thank you very much for joining me on this historic journey of the Androscoggin Swing Bridge. I hope that you have learned a lot, and as always, have a nice day.